is just too much on that. Like on on some other lineman, I would definitely take it. Like you'd take it if you was playing elves or something ridiculous. Oh, this is good. The, the one good thing, unfortunately, we just keep getting chaos after chaos after chaos. I don't know. I don't know what it what it is about chaos today that everyone wants to roll their fifteen hundred chaos teams. Um, but uh, oh, damn it, damn it! That's twice today I've done that. I keep uh. I keep clicking validate instead of clicking buy. I wish that they just had a, like a buy button over here. Never mind. Um, bless your block team values device. even enough. I don't really the, fifth, the, the extra we'll seventy is not the end of the world. Yeah, I would almost, I would definitely consider taking Agi Four and a Blitzer, so that I had more options to. Um, <laughs> you keep your goddamn dwarves away from me. Oh God. This should be a Is this guy game. literally got a bunch of level ones and a level five minotaur? Because how can he only be fifteen hundred with a level one, level five minotaur? What's he got? Juggernaut. The good thing is he hasn't got block on him, but he does have claw piling on. So, <laughs> oh god damn it, this this minotaur is brutal. So he's going for the old no subs. I'm just gonna try and kill you, Root. Look, no block, no block. Has he just got no block claw kill everything? Okay. Fair enough. He has. Okay. I right, say so no. He's gone. He's gone. Block on these two. He's gone. He's got one block tackle beastman and one block chaos warrior. But yeah, pajama snipe is. You know, if if he's when I queue up for a game, he tries to queue up at the same time and and play against me. He wants to kill all my players again. Um, yeah. Like I definitely, I definitely feel like the block on a chaos warrior first is better than the. Like God, I can kind of understand. I definitely feel like this guy's at least gone about it where he's not just done all of one. Like I have played against Chaos teams where every single Chaos Warrior has Claw Mighty Blow first. And it can work. You can do some work with it and kill people. But there is always the chance that, you know, you get some iffy blocks and you just end up burning all your rerolls quickly. Um, but there, this guy's got the gun for the good old uh, let's kill everything. Agi 4 Beast in there is nice. Extra arms. Is that the catch one or the pickup one? Okay, pick up catch or intercept. Tackle. Yeah, he's definitely got a nice. We're definitely going to have to do something about this uh, Minotaur. Maximus Senbei. Maximus Senbei. Thank you very much for the follow. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, thank you very much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Glad you enjoyed the stream and I hope you enjoy your little goblin dance. Uh. A minotaur, a minotaur has a still chastity belt. A minotaur with a chastity belt is, is minotaur and chastity belt in the same sentence is like the scariest combination of words that I can think of at the moment. Uh, right. <laughs> yeah, you're playing with a scaven team with 200k petty cash and he didn't spend any. He probably keeps doing the same thing as me and accidentally clicking validate. <laughs> yeah, this, yeah, Calic, you're right, you know, Calic, the Minotaur cage defense. That is, this is definitely a strange one, but um, the coach to do something. Anything, I, I definitely Don't like. It's a bit odd, but uh, did I get block on a? No, I didn't. I just got block on another lineman, didn't I? Okay, so in that case, we're gonna do this this way. We're gonna go block guard, block. Uh, we will have to take. We will take one two dice there, um, and then we're gonna go. Heavy on the right hand side, I guess. Uh, there we go. Okay, let's do it this way. There, that, this is a this is a weird setup. I haven't um I haven't seen this setup before. I don't necessarily dislike it. It's not like we're gonna suddenly blitz down the wing and run away from him before he can catch us. Oh, that's a good kick. Damn. Don't like this much. This does kind of waste a turn of ours, but the player needs to secure it and fast. This player likes to be well assisted in the fight. Oh, nice little stun. Never mind. Never mind. Corey, Corey is me. Corey, I'm gonna call you Corey if that's alright. Hello, my man. How are you? Welcome to the stream. Welcome to the stream. Anyone new? So uh 
Well, yeah, we we've been pretty calm. We've been pre we've, we this is generally a pretty pretty chilled out stream. We don't tend to get overly excitable. Mi Minaras has been doing his best to uh to raise our blood pressure. <laughs> Poor Minaras. <laughs> We're not forgetting that for a long time, Minaras. Uh is the assist going to be enough to there we go. on top? All the stuns. Again, it's one of those situations where it would have been nice if we could have turned one of those into a... It would have been nice if we could have turned one of those into a... Into an injury, but... Never mind. Uh, yeah, there we go. Move right next to a teammate. That works. Um, yeah, it's a shame. Like, I, I, it's a real shame that I um, it's a real shame I ballsed up the um, the inducements and didn't and didn't buy me bribe. Uh, skip. Uh, never mind. Yeah, I would very, um, I would very much have liked to have had my bribe so that I could have st stood on stuff. But never mind, never mind. I'm sure it'll work out in the end. Um, yeah. Well, faith in the dice. I feel like we're due. Um, I feel like we're due a game where we have some some nice dice after that last little. The second half in that la like, you know, when you just like sometimes you you play a game of Blood Bowl and when you're done, you've got to, like scratch your head and go, hold up, where did that go so badly wrong? I feel like that was that was that last game in a nutshell. Like that last game was like, okay, I feel like we're doing all right, and then out of nowhere, you just end up losing, and you're like, where did it all go wrong? It is, it is Minaras. It definitely is nice to see a bunch of new people in chat. It really is, it really is. The Warner Maria, Corey, Corey is me, Corey. Thank you very much for the follow. I really, really do appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad you enjoyed yourself, and I hope you enjoy your little goblin dance. Um, but yeah, no, I, we tend, we try not to freak out too much about dice rolls. Don't get me wrong. I mean, I think it, I think it's pretty hard to play Blood Bowl and not get a little bit salty at times about the dice. I feel like everyone's like, "Oh damn it!" I feel like I had really bad dice that game. But I do do my best to try and temper that with admitting when there's things that are of my own doing, like. When I when I notice them, sometimes you know, sometimes it's hard. But when I do when I do notice that I've done some some silly stuff, I do tend to try and uh, try and hold, hold my hand up and say, "Yep, yeah, that was probably my fault." Uh, right. I feel like we almost certainly want to blitz. I I almost feel like it might be worth stamping on this mine at all. If I was to do it, forty two percent. I don't know. I feel like it might be worth to do it with a lineman, but. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe. No, nah, probably not. Actually, I, I would. I don't want to risk us sending off this early. Are right, you going up here? Uh, what I'd very much like to do is block this guy and put a guy here, and just make it hard for him to get towards us before we try and pick up the ball, which is good. That work. Black leg Sanji. Oh, okay. This is one one piece. One piece one piece uh, team. I didn't actually Yeah it is. Oh yeah, it is one piece team. Cyborg Frankie. I wonder why they've all got three at the end. Maybe this is the third incarnation of this team. Um uh, so where is our cage going to be? Yeah, you know what? I feel like maybe we will I really hate doing the pickup first, but I feel like we're reasonably safe with these two guys here, so I feel like we try to pick up first. Right, okay. So we can't get that far yet. So now I feel like we just try and make this as safe as possible. Um We got he hasn't got blocks, so I feel like we might actually take a take a one dice there momentarily. 
feel like I'm going to take a one dice here. That works. You can go stand next to the Black Orc. Oh. 42%. I suppose it's worth it. It's, I, I, this, this Minotaur is so much of his team value. I feel like it's worth it. Right, a stun. A stun actually is fine. Like we can live with that. I, I, I feel like that was probably a decent enough, a decent enough opportunity there. Uh, we we'll stick a guy here, and then I'm gonna try and dodge this guy away. Okay, he fell over. So never mind. Um, do I want to reroll that? No, not really. Okay, I feel like we're in a re reasonably good, reasonably good spot. <laughs> you did a thing redemption. Yes, you did. You did. Um, I, to be fair, Minaras, I'm I'm not quite sure if that counts as redemption for the snake eyes in the in the end zone. But 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 I'll definitely definitely admit that you did a thing. Yes, you did a thing. Uh, injured five. You injured five Norse. KO eight. Had them all off the field. Next match. Come on, guys. Together. Oh God. <laughs> Yeah, it's always a bit. You know what? It's when you see the um. It's not so much when you see the foul animation. It's when you see the Minotaur roll over, and you're like, "Oh my god, did he just get injured?" <laughs> that, that's that's the worst part for me when when they roll over slowly. They're like, "Oh my god, I've just taken an injury roll." <laughs> yeah, on your way, Minaras. On your way. Don't worry. Don't worry. I I I, I forgive you. I forgive you. Perfect, man. Good to see you again. Good to see you. I hope you're doing alright today. That KO hurts, but can't really afford to can't really afford to do it yet. We're we're even though. Again, like this is one of those situations where if we stay as long as I can stay even with him in like pieces, I feel like we'll I feel like we'll be alright. Because we've gone like because he's just gone claw everywhere. I feel like if we can just stay even, we'll be good. We'll be good that way. Um, that's the plan, anyway. That is the plan. Right. Jump up, guy. Where do I want to put people? I feel like we can always get... I feel like I can blitz and then I can jump up and then... I feel like a black orc's almost certainly going to go here. They're getting up close and personal, Bob. You need to Go be there. Close. So close they can smell your breath and see the dead insects in your teeth. Unity is strength. Um, uh, that works. Gemini will always superior skills prevail. So this guy's again, like all of these Chaos Warriors without block, I will quite happily take one dice against them with my block guys. Like I feel like that's a reasonable a reasonable trade. Alright. Yeah, I always feel like taking taking like one dice is block versus no block. I always feel like it's fairly reasonable. I don't feel like that's com that's like unwarranted. Uh, that works. That is very good. Darker they are, the harder they hit. So we're never going to get two dice there. Uh, and again, nah. I don't think I want to take. I don't think I want to take the one die straight up versus the claw guy, because on the off chance it goes badly, then that leaves us a bit open to um. Oh, this guy. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I should have done. I should have done. Should have hit this guy as well. That's my bad. Um, I was a bit more focused on the the ball and stuff. So I'm really. Uh... Yeah, he's he seems to be going for the typical, like the good old fashioned like just punch everything. But then again, he's chaos. Like I don't, I don't necessarily blame him. Like again, like we've just got hope. That the hope for me, my plan is if we can just kind of you know 
keep the ball reasonably secure and just go even. Like as long as we don't get in a situation where we're like two, three, two, three players down, then I feel like we'll be all right. Um, but we are definitely like if we if we get opportunities to foul like level four chaos warriors and stuff, we're definitely going to do it. I don't see any reason why we wouldn't. Oh, this is just. That's okay though. Stuns again. Stuns we can live with. Like we have to just live with the stuns. And yeah, the niggle on the um the niggle on the beastman was pretty bad. But it's a, like a zero a zero SPB beastman. Never mind. Just replace away. Like again here, like I would very much like, I would almost certainly be tempted to just try and block this guy away and then just get like a 3-4 person foul on the Minotaur, but we'll see, we'll see. Oh, sorry, not the Minotaur, the Chaos Warrior. Like I feel like a 3-4 a three four person foul on the level 5 Chaos Warrior is worthwhile. It's just not particularly, we're just, unfortunately it's just not particularly safe um, because it means... It means committing a lot of pieces to this and not, not being able to cage particularly well. Uh, he's got a KO and an injury and we've got two KOs. So, yeah. I don't know. I feel like, as much as I would like to foul this guy, I don't think I'm going to be able to commit a bunch of pieces to doing it. Ugh. Okay. He won't leave him alone anytime soon. Right. It's a shame we had to burn a reroll there. I would very much like to. Which way do I want to go with this? I feel like we're going to sideline cage and we're going to get a guy. We're going to get another guy around here, maybe. I don't know. And again, I don't feel like this is particularly the safest thing in the world, but I feel like we're short of an exceptionally brilliant option right this second. And I feel like if we do it this way, at least we tie him up for another turn. Like, I feel like, yeah. Yeah, no, I feel like that's uh, that's okay. And again, as much as I want to take a one dice block here, if it goes badly, then we're in real trouble. So I feel like we at least make him throw the dice. Is the best way to go about it. Like I, I can't really. Unfortunately. Because not again. None of our Black Orcs have block or anything. I can't really aff afford to just be throwing random dice. With the Black Orcs at the moment. Because it could go wrong. It could go wrong. We do need him to stop. Just crushing our armour though. That is that is a big problem. No long term. Okay. I'm going to have to skip that. we have to play without a Black Orc then. So yeah, we're sort of losing. And again, the good thing is our thrower does have the good old uh, strength four, so and that works. There's his reroll gone. Would very much like that again, but was not to be. What fuck can he get? If he, if he was in scoring position, I might consider just handing it off and doing it that way. But seeing as he's not... I feel like we blitz this guy out of the way and then move up again. Do it that way. We will see. We will see. It depends how many... It depends how many... Um, how many guys he manages to get over this side of the pitch, really. Yeah, the black the, the the that black orc going off the pitch is a real pain. It really does hurt us a lot, actually, because it means that um, we've got very few pieces to tie up these guys now, which is going to be a problem. God, this is why people hate chaos. They're going to be carrying that scar around for the rest of their short life. Double injuries to Blackhawks is... Ugh, just makes things such a struggle. It really does. Mm -mm -mm. 
Right. You have to stand up. You have to stand up. And you have to stand up. I probably kind of need... Uh, this guy's not going to be able to dodge away anyway, so I probably kind of need this guy to... I need to take a one dice here. Again, it's block versus no block, so it's not the worst thing in the world. Stun is good. Yeah, it just I mean it's just claw claw versus claw in general. It just it's it's a real pain. It's a real pain. There we go. We're, again, we're probably going to get a, a guy surfed here now. One less annoyance to deal with. Uh, okay. I will take a one dice here. Just because it's... Uh, do I want to re-roll that? No, because it doesn't actually make a difference. So we just we just crack on like that then. I mean, again, this is not particularly safe. It just I'm I'm kind of just running out of pieces here. The 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 thing we said at the beginning was like I need to kind of stay even pieces wise, and unfortunately, it's like our two black orcs which are injured now, which is a real pain. We're just now we're going to start to get out muscled, um, which is the problem. Um, The good thing is he can't he can't surf us and blitz us at the same time. So, you know, we, we're not going to get surfed this turn. Or if he does surf us, then we'd probably score, so... Okay, so he's going to use the blitz to surf us and then... I, like, I don't agree with that, really. It's like... Using the blitz to surf the level 1 guy just seems like a real... Like, it seems weird. Um, but yeah, this is this is the problem I have with Chaos teams. Like, it's just a case of they, they just roll a bunch of blocks. And if it goes well for them, half your team's dead by turn 5. And there's sod all you can do about it. So, never mind. Uh, I feel like we should be able to score, though. Oh, God, just stop it. Damn. Let the bed bugs bite. Really, don't let them. They're massive and can take your hand right off. Oh, well, there's a double skull, at least. Oh, come on. These are not even the core my bow guys. Just uh Yeah, it is it, it goes like that, Volker, sometimes. Like when you when you're playing against Chaos, the, the problem the problem I have against playing against Chaos teams is like there's no real, there's no real counterplay to them. Or there, there probably there is with certain teams, but I find it really hard to like, like counterplay against chaos teams, um, because they just basically, like every block, they just basically load up on claw mighty blow, and then, um, and then it kind of goes, if it goes wrong, then it goes wrong. Um, Wouldn't it be better dodging out of the way rather than blocking, Bob? No, Jim. Strike first, run later. That's always been my Uh and I am gonna T D anyway, because uh Yeah, exactly like yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, Ragnar, I definitely agree with what you're saying. Like you can just play the um You can just play the um You know, if you're playing elves it's not as much of a problem. Cause th obviously the the problem with playing Chaos as an orc team is that you when you make an orc team, part of what makes an orc team what they are is that they all have AV9. Um, or mostly have AV9. They have some AV8. And you give up. Yeah, Jace, like, you're kind of missing the point of what... Or maybe I'm not explaining it very well. I'm not saying, like, oh my god... Like claw is the end of the world, bloody bloody blah. blah, blah. It, I'm just saying specifically. I find it hard to play against claw teams because 
I don't necessarily play Agi teams. And the teams I play, like if you're playing Orcs, part of the point of playing Orcs is that you give up some starting skills to have a little bit of extra strength and a little bit of and a little bit of um extra armor. Like that is the point of Orcs. They they are a little bit stronger than humans. They have a, they're a, they have a little bit more armor, but they have less in the way of starting skills. Um. And when you come up against a team that just loads up on Claw and Mighty Blow, the thing that can go wrong for you is every time they throw a block, they just wreck you and you end up with a bunch of injuries and there, there isn't really anything you can do against it. I'm saying that by all means, I'm not saying I'm playing perfectly and it's just Claw. I'm saying the struggle I have playing against Claw, Mighty Blow piling on, is that specifically. Sometimes they just have a game where they roll a lot of good injury rolls and all of a sudden you've got half your team gone now it's all good and well saying just spread out yeah again you are completely missing my point i'm not saying again at 1000 tv i have said repeatedly that chaos are a terrible team at 1000 tv and it's hard work like that that is fine. But again, like, Chaos are not as bad as a lot of, like, they're not that bad anyway. Like, look at this guy. This guy is basically running Claw Mighty Blow on everyone. And he's and he's not gone heavy on block. He's still got way less block than I do. But it doesn't really matter because if he gets a couple of good injury rolls early on, he then has a numbers advantage and then he gets two dice blocks all day. Like, it just it's just the way it works. Like Chaos Warriors are amazing pieces. I like I'm not I'm not saying like you 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 you're kinda of missing the point of what I'm getting at. Like I'm just saying it's a struggle sometimes to play against if if a claw mighty blow piling on team has a good day, then you just lose all your players. That's it. That's all it is. But yeah, no, I definitely I don't disagree that at one thousand T V that Chaos teams are not that great. Chaos teams are certainly not the best newly formed teams. At 1000 TV, dwarfs are great because they have block everywhere and they can just punch people. Um, like, that's all it is. I find it, like, I very, I very hard to. Yeah, no, and and again, let uh, less um less base to base. To, like again, everyone says when you play chaos, you don't base them up, and I don't. And again, I don't disagree with you. It's just that it's very hard at times to not let the chaos team just base up all your pieces when they've already sent two of them off the pitch by turn four. Like, if by turn turn six in the game you've got two injuries, two KOs, and they have a two man advantage. It's very hard not to just let them run you down. Like it, it, it's hard work. Like especially when you're also trying to cage and protect the ball. Like it's not as easy as just don't base them. Like I wish it was, but it, um, it's a personal thing. Like I, again, I'm just saying I find I find it hard to deal with at times. That's all. I'm not. I I'm in no way saying oh chaos should be banned or chaos overpowered. I think chaos are good at high TV. Um, and I certainly think that they do better against other teams than others. And I've always said, teams have good and bad matchups. I just think if you'd ask most people who, like, which team they find hard to deal with, like, for me, it's Chaos. Because if they have a good game, they kill all your team. It's not like you play against Elves and it's like, oh, they had a good game. They ran around me and scored a couple of touchdowns. It's like, no, Chaos had a good game. By turn six, I was I was dead. You know, that's what, that's the kind of difference, really, is the best way I can explain it. Um, right. Uh, this guy needs to go. We we kind of do need to blitz this guy, really. Uh, I'd very much like to not blitz it. Well, blitz him with a block piece, but I feel like we're going to need. I feel like we could maybe get. I wonder if I got a guy in here. Could I take my one dice on the ball carrier? I I feel like I do. I do that. Actually, all right. So this guy, this guy's got to come over here first, and then we go. Oh, come on! Not that. 
Right. That, that's kind of unfortunate. Uh, 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 uh. Okay, so now I get now I get my one dice. It's a shame we had to burn the reroll on the go for it, but oh, can we find another one? Never mind. Oh, so that puts pay to that then. We tried, we tried. Dwarves are the worst. Yeah, like definitely, dwarves are better at low TV. Low TV. The the thing is, uh, my my thing with chaos is this, right? That they can, like, even if, like, I personally would say that just going claw mighty blow first on every piece on a chaos team is not necessarily the best way to do it. I feel like having no block is a bit is a bit crazy, but you can just build a chaos team with claw and mighty blow first on everybody, and if you have a good day and roll some decent dice in the first four or five turns, you'll end up winning the game purely by numbers advantage. You'll just kill so many pieces or injure so many pieces that it really doesn't matter after that. Like that's that's the way I feel about it. It's just it is like. Claw is one of those things that you just like certain teams it's like okay they've got claw who cares and then other teams it's like oh my god everyone's got claw that kind of ruins my team like that's that's it I just don't I, I feel like chaos divide the teams much more than say any other team that's all that's all I feel like any other matchup I'm like yeah I don't really care but on certain teams I'm like oh god chaos with claw mighty blow I'm kind of dead and again not a 1000 TV not a 1000 TV um, but yeah, we're in a bit of a pickle. That failing to go for it and stunning ourselves is a bit rough. Um, now we're almost certainly going to have to make at least one dodge. We can still dodge this guy away and get a block, which would be nice. Uh, I don't think this guy can reach. If you play agi teams. Oh yeah, no, definitely, definitely. Like, I, I definitely see that. I definitely see that. But I, like, yeah, I, I, I definitely. But again, that's what I mean. Like, I definitely feel like, I, I feel like chaos teams. And again, this is all just purely my opinion or how I feel about the game. This is not to say that everyone should think this way. I just like you say, like, if you, when you play elves, you, you don't care about chaos. You find it okay to play against them. Maybe because I don't play agi teams, but um. I, I think that my big thing with Chaos is like is is I feel like Chaos divide the teams in half way more than any other team. Like I on on I I would quite happily play Lizard Men Skaven with virtually anyone, but Chaos it's like if you're an Agi team you do okay. If you're not an Agi team, you're probably gonna get wrecked. Um, we are gonna stick a guy down here. I'm not probably going to get wrecked. That's that's a bit too harsh. Like chaos teams are, are beatable anyway. Like it's not to say that they're not beatable. They are, um, but they can. They just always have the capacity to just ruin your day. Uh, right. We need to make one dodge here, and we do have rerolls. So I would hope that this would work. Remember, you need. Uh, I'm going to reroll that. We kind of need this guy on the. F ah, never mind. Oh God. Oh, that is a shame. The reason I re-rolled that is because I feel like it would have... Unless we get this guy on the floor, I feel like it's very easy for him to just clear out the ball carrier here or clear clear this one guy out and run down a score. Rolling into the double skull side. And also because it was his last turn as well. Like I feel like that was our best chance. The ball is handed off and play continues uninterrupted. <laughs> Uh, mm, mm, mm. Orcs do a good number. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, again, like, and again, I don't necessarily like. I really don't. And, but I suppose, and we should also. I suppose then we should we should also make clear as well that like all of my opinions or not, they're not based on what I'm talking about. I suppose I should state it specifically relates to the NAF Open League game and endless league. Like if um if if you're playing in a organised league. And everyone's starting with TV 1000 teams. We've kind of had this discussion before about the NAF League and the NAF League versus organized leagues. If, if then the chaos are in a league where.